so now there's another thing we say I plead the blood of Jesus well the grass is green the sky is blue just saying I plead the blood don't apply the blood but what applies the blood of Jesus is tithing mm. now if that don't straighten people out go back to Joshua when they keep up the tithe then they become the tithe mm -hmm. now you got a choice because God wants you to become the tithe in the earth you want to be a living tithe or a dead tithe <laughs> either way you're gonna be a tithe in the earth but if you'll take this principle and if, if Christians would tithe and not just play with it but actually tithe then they would find that uh, the devourer will be rebuked for their sakes just like Malachi says and the destroyer cannot come into their home and uh, it's interesting because it says that there was not a house found in the land of Egypt that there was not at least one dead mm. so it, it's important that we uh, uh, understand the principle of tithing and I think people don't because we've been taught it so much that we don't hear it we just we start hearing it and we just kind of stick it in the category of what we've already heard we don't get a revelation in our spirit mm -hmm. we, we become like a uh, you know what the Bible says, uh, tinkling brass and yeah. stinking cymbal, yeah. something like that. I'm not sure what it says. <laughs> and we, we don't hear it. We, we just hear words, but we don't really have a distinction. But I believe that God has a word for his people. Mm -hmm. Because back in the, in the early fall, God says, uh, this, he spoke to my heart and said, uh, spirit of uh, death has been released in the earth. Mm. A few weeks later, he clarified it before I could understand it. He said, uh, it's not just a death to p individuals' lives, but death to businesses, death to directions, death to visions. And, and only over into November, God began to reveal to me about the tithe. See, the devourer has been released in the earth. Mm -hmm. And the only way to avoid destruction is to become God's tithe in the earth. Mm -hmm. So you start off with the tithe, then you become the tithe. See, all of Israel was, was commanded to tithe. That was 10%. Mm -hmm. Well, they give it to the, to the priest. But then the priest would give 10% of their 10% to the high priest. Mm -hmm. In other words, 1% actually belonged to the high priest. And our high priest is Jesus Christ. You know about one out of every 100 Christians really belong to him? Mm. <laughs> about one out of every 100 Christians are the only ones that has actually totally devoted mm. their life unto the Lord. So right now, if you want to save your hide, you better tithe. <laughs> it's real simple, you know what I'm saying? You, you can listen to me, or you can listen to the devourer.